We're Jean and Shay, and for the past couple of months, we've spent every weekend driving from our city of Philadelphia to my parents' garage in the suburbs to fully convert out our old camper van into our full-time home. You've watched us take on project after project to get this thing ready for our big trip west to Utah in the early spring. But let's take it back before all of that. I'm Jean. And I'm Shay. And we are Steering Queer. And this is our Q&A part one. So we're taking the top questions we got from both of our Instagram stories and we're combining them. Mix them in this little jar and we'll be reading some off to start. Do you, pick the, you pick the first <laughs> one. What made you want to do van life? Um, so I think that I had done it for like a month with a friend once like I joined along and I really loved it and I just thought that it would be something really cool to do and when corona hit and everything I had gotten unemployed and so I kind of just suggested it to Jean we were pretty like newly together yeah and it kind of just went from there yeah I've always wanted to do it since I was a kid I grew up and my parents had a camper and we would camp all the time and I would also go canoeing a lot, um, and I kind of always just saw myself doing something like that at some point in my life. And then when you suggested it, it was kind of perfect, and I was like, yeah, we need to do this. Yeah. So. Um, how did you two meet? <laughs> do you want to start? <laughs> um, I found Shay on tinder and we matched and her instagram was on her tinder profile so of course <laughs> i found it and self plug for yeah. anybody who saw my tinder and i found her and uh followed her and she followed me back and then you messaged me first like seven months later <laughs> and kind of asked me out on a date now i said I was, I, a, I was at a restaurant and they were like talking about the food there and I was like yeah I know like when you finally ask me on a date we can go here yeah and I was so sly and then I did and you didn't know that we matched on tinder until I didn't go on tinder I just like put my name out there for people to find my instagram which you did you fell <laughs> I didn't think her <laughs> I did are the cats coming Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> so this is hard. We just decided that. So we initially weren't going to have them come. I, they're both, I have a two-year-old cat and a one-year-old cat. And they've both always been in an apartment. And I was a little stressed and everything. And then I was really upset about it. And I kept looking up different, um, like, van accounts or van YouTubers and stuff who had their cats. And the cats seemed to adjust really well and, like, really enjoy it. And so... We're gonna try it out. We always have a backup with my mom who was initially gonna keep them while we were gone. So we're gonna try it out and that will be really interesting to document. Mm -hmm. We'll do whole videos about the cats adjusting, all that kind of stuff for sure. Right, Bean? Okay, my turn. Are you afraid? No. Are you afraid of anything about the trip? I'm afraid of being so far away from my family. And yeah. Friends. And like something happening, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of traveling really. Um, I mean, maybe a little bit cautious about going different places just because of being queer. Yeah. Um, I'm just like nervous to be outside of Philly because Philly is like really accepting of for the most part, really accepting of queer and trans people. So I'm a little nervous about that, but as far as like my overall feeling, I'm like pumped. Yeah, I agree. I'm the only amount of scared I really am, other than exactly what you said. It is interesting. I feel like the only time 
I've been in an area where I feel like I wasn't as accepted or I could really tell the difference because I grew up just in the tri-state area was when I was doing an internship in North Carolina. So I'm not exposed as much to some of the places that may not, I mean not might not, they don't accept queer people the same way. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to be major city van dwellers for the most yeah, part. I think we're going to kind of be on our own doing our own thing. Try not to be targets. Um, and we do want to like up like let people know where it is safe to travel and stuff if you're gay and trans yeah um so yeah keep an eye out for that stuff yeah we'll be doing that if anybody sure. would be interested in like um a separate section on either like youtube instagram a blog that i eventually want to like put together about safe spaces for anybody in the community um we will leave a comment i would love to see if you're interested in that yeah where did you find the van? Ed found it. Yeah. So my stepdad, it? yeah, my stepdad who's been helping us, he found the van on Facebook Marketplace because he knew that we were pretty actively looking at this point. Honestly, not even actively, we were like passively like, yeah, let's, we want to do it. You were in New York. Mm -hmm. I was in New York visiting my friends and he kept texting me, texting me, he's like, you got to call this number about this van. And I was like, yeah, whatever, like I can do it tomorrow or I'll do it Monday because it was like a Saturday night and he like was very persistent so I got on the phone with the girl whose van it was and it ended up being the next day yeah the next day we drove to Virginia and saw it because it was just such a great deal really cool unique van low mileage and low mileage and so it just worked out really well yeah so Facebook marketplace yeah <laughs> what first right What's first right when you leave? We don't have like much of a plan because we just know we have to be in Utah probably by May because we have an orientation. Yeah, we have to find out when that is. Yeah, so there's a few places that I want to go. Like I know I want to see... Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, Texas. Mm -hmm. Arizona. New Mexico is one of them. Like kind of that loop down. This is going to show opposite I think on the... Just flip it, you know what I mean. From <laughs> Pennsylvania down to Texas and up into Utah. Mm -hmm. Just kind of a loop there. But we have over a month mm -hmm. of doing that. So we're kind of just going to go with the flow with that. Yeah. Oh, dear. After the first year, then what? We're going to work May to October, travel until December, because then we're going to go home for a little bit for the holidays. And then while we're at home, or a little bit before that, we'll probably plan to get another job yeah. lined up. And then wherever we do end up getting another seasonal job, we will go wherever. We want to go to Baja. We want to go to Which hopefully is in Mexico. go to Seattle before we come home in December. Oh, yeah. Um, just really want to go all throughout the West Coast, honestly. And like Midwest, Wyoming, Montana. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, after like, I guess what the year would be is like so hard to plan out because we don't know how much we're gonna get accomplished. We right. don't know if we're gonna find places on our off seasons from seasonal jobs that we wanna stay a little longer. But we do eventually wanna head down into Mexico. We don't like have a, we're doing it for a year, but we don't have a specific like year stop. Yeah. It's going to be our house. We don't have rent. So like, I don't really see us being like, no, I want to pick up another rent. No, I, you know? I don't think uh, we're going to travel for a year and then stop. I think we're going to keep going. Are you nervous to be so on top of each other? I feel like this is something that we have discussed a lot. It's a realistic question. Um, yeah. I got this like a few different, like a few different versions of this question. And it's definitely inevitable for us to be on top of each other um we're gonna be spending every day together we've done that sometimes but we like usually take like two days yeah to do our own thing or like do things that we need to do um not nervous i'm not nervous about it i'm more so want to be proactive about it like if we are realizing that we need space we'll just figure out how to do that yeah 
And one of the things is with our relationship is that we're really open for communication. We don't tend to get like irritated and mad at each other before we would like talk about a situation. Mm -hmm. Like we plan on, Jean wakes up a little earlier than I do. Like if Jean wants to go for a walk or if I need to stay back and do like any online work and stuff on certain days, we're really open to that. I We both are the type of people who really enjoy our alone time. Yeah. But we kind of feel like we're having a long time sometimes together too, if that makes any sense. Which I think is really cool yeah. and important. Like we don't need to constantly be talking. We're not we don't constantly like have to sit there and like validate each other if we're in silence that uh, it's not because of a like weird resentment or something. No, no, like no. That. Yeah. So I mean I don't say I wouldn't say nervous, yeah. I just would say like I am anticipating that being something that having to figure that out. Yeah, for sure. Next question. Does your job provide you with food and board or benefits? Um, so board is our van. <laughs> they'll give us a parking spot and they'll give us water. Mm -hmm. so we have free water, which is huge yeah. for, what is it, four months or other? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Food, no. Um, benefits, no. No, there's no types of benefits. It's like we're camp hosts, so. Yeah. Um, there's no electrical hookup, so we'll get a $65 stipend per each month. month. So, that would be cool. Um, but yeah, uh, place to park, water, and the propane stipend is what. And a golf cart. <laughs> we're so excited about the golf cart. I That's going to be man. awesome. <laughs> I've been, always been so hyped when there's a golf cart around me. I don't know who decided that was a good idea to give us a golf cart, but I'm down. I wonder if we Absolutely. can use it on our day off. I wonder how big the wheels are. <laughs> how much was everything? So the van was 7000 Then, deal. yeah, really great deal. It has a little over 60,000 miles on it, so... It's great. Just got new brakes. Um, the money we put into it initially was about $1,000 for all of like the walls, the floors, the ceiling, all that kind of stuff. I would say ever since then, maybe we've put another close to 1000 on it. And then we need to still get solar and we're going to get two new batteries for it. So I think in total, it's going to be between altogether ten to $11,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Which isn't bad. No. Put... Now, put into perspective that we'll never have to pay all of that again. Yeah, there's going to be times where we have, like, electrical work, we have to go to the garage, all that kind of stuff. But um, if you put together how much your rent is and you calculate that for a year, it's either going to equal out or be less. For me, personally, it's going to be less than I would pay mm -hmm. in a year of living in this apartment again. Yeah. It would be more expensive for me, but you just do that and then you have that house... Home yeah, our... it's like an investment. Yeah. Um, car insurance and or homeowners insurance. How does all of that work? Do you want to take the lead on this? Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna get car insurance. Obviously, um, you don't have to or you can't get homeowners insurance for a vehicle because we won't have a shower and toilet. If you have a shower and toilet, you can get homeowners uh, insurance. I feel like if even if we could get homeowners insurance, it would be more expensive than necessary. I yeah. don't think it's worth it. Agreed. Um, we can get insurance on certain items, like expensive items like laptop, camera gear, um, a drone, anything like that. We can get insurance on that and pay for that. Kind of like what you would do for like renter, renters insurance. Yeah. Um, and pricing car insurance, it's very cheap. Yeah, when nice. we figured it out, it's gonna be five to six hundred every six months. Yeah, and then figure that we split that, and then we're gonna try and add on um, AAA, which is about like a hundred dollars a year. Yeah, so super cheap. Yeah, that was a really big relief for us to find out recently. Yeah, because I thought that was gonna be more of an expense than yeah it was. Just a little bit. <laughs> Where are you most excited to travel to? This differs. You can go first, babe. Um, I'm excited to go through Moab, which is southern Utah. <laughs> um, we'll be doing that 
like the week before we start work. Um, it's only three hours from us. I know. Um, I went there last year and was absolutely like in love with it. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to go back. And I'm most excited to see Seattle. I know that there's so many places that are like so beautiful. And not that Seattle isn't, but like there's gonna be so many places where they like take my breath away. But there's just something that I like romanticize about Seattle. I'm not saying it's all about Twilight. <laughs> But a lot of it has to do But with it's all because of Twilight. <laughs> I'm making Jean go on the full Twilight tour. I'm down. Yeah. I'm so into that. So that's my thing. It's going to be like my big moment when we finally get out there. Actually travel there with you and like our home is just going to be so special mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> this is feeling <laughs> sentimental. <laughs> my second would be Montana. Yeah, I mean all those places, Wyoming, like, like Lake, Lake National Glacier National Park. Yeah, the Grand Teton. Holy fuck! I, like all these places, there's just so many. But if you want to ask for our favorites, Moab. Cheers, babe. So what exactly kind of work are you doing, and how did you find it? So we found it off of a website called Coolworks. Yes. Um, I think it's coolworks.com. Great website. Great website. Lots of jobs everywhere. Yeah, so you can go on there if you're interested in doing kind of what we're doing, if you don't have a remote position worked out or whatever, um, and you think that seasonal is good for you, you go in, you pick the season you want, you can pick the state that you want, and it can filter down. And then you can type the type of job. We mm -hmm. were kind of open to anything. Jean was definitely leaning more towards outdoor involvement, yeah. whereas I have a lot of um, bartending and waitressing experience, so I was kind of open to that. But we found it. We interviewed and looked for jobs for about a month, and we found it. Not long at all. Oh yeah, I guess we should now get into what, what we're doing. What we're doing, yeah. We're gonna be camp hosts, so it's gonna be us and another couple pretty much at this one campsite. Um, and we're gonna be checking in guests, cleaning up campsites and like the facilities, making sure that they have firewood, making sure that they're following the rules. Um, and kind of like if they have any questions about the area we'll be answering stuff like that so yeah so it's a little bit of a mix of like a maintenance position and a customer service position mm -hmm. can you make a page where you post travel updates yes yeah so we've been going back and forth about it. i've actually made one um for now while we're not traveling we're doing the build and everything we've been basically doing most of it on our own Instagrams and obviously on our channel. Um, I haven't gotten like a bunch of people who are like, we're not interested in this. So it's kind of at the point right now where I'm going back and forth between like, do I want to start a whole new page and gain a whole following on that? It's hard. So I think I'm more towards leaning on us, keeping our separate socials and making a blog and a website where we put everything and then obviously have our YouTube channel. I just feel like that's enough outlets. Yeah. Right? And then once we do like more aesthetically pleasing stuff, then we could like bring it to we'll a like separate launch. Yeah, a separate Instagram. And so our last question. Oh, that was fast. Last question for part one. Okay. Did you have any renovation experience? No. I mean. Ed is really the person <clears throat> who has guided us yeah. through, like it's been a huge learning experience for both of us and we've had Shay stepdad Ed um, helping us out a lot with mm -hmm. that process and he has a whole bunch of experience in that. He kind of gives us the basis of what we have to do like for each task and each step of the build and then we run with it when he does other things but he as much as he can he comes back to help mm -hmm. and i mean it's been the biggest thing it's why i think we're getting it done as fast as we are or why we're even able to right you know yeah i don't i don't know how i think we it would take so much longer i think we would have been so much waste. worse yeah, we w would waste resources, things would, it, we would be learning the hard way if we didn't have it. Yeah, for sure. So that's been like the biggest like blessing through all of this is yeah. just having someone who has so much experience mm -hmm. with it.
we have renovation experience now. Yes, we do. Now, like, if anything happens on the road, we would be able to figure it out. You so more. You more so. <laughs> you so more. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> you made fun of you. That was all you. <laughs> We're out. We really did. Um, okay, so if you guys like this, there is a ton more questions that we didn't get to touch on. I don't want this to be like a 45 to an hour long Q&A, but I'm thinking if you like this and give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment about any other question. We'll put another poll up more so towards when we leave and questions about once we're officially in van life yeah and everything yep yeah so i'm gonna let you kick this off babe because i you really cut you, you just off. did it i didn't say did i say like and subscribe you did do it like a big one do it i didn't mean to <laughs> just come on do your outro i don't mean to do I an get outro excited. yeah thank you so much for watching part one q a um if you tuned in and enjoyed it Click like and subscribe. Yeah. And that's my outro. <laughs> Shay does it way better. Bye guys. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. <laughs> you did. You were like, and you should like and subscribe. And I was like, what about me? <laughs>